so hi guys uh, today we will see how to register the qml uh, 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 qml uh, file in c++ site and then after that we use the header files in the qml file itself of different files so we can directly access that uh, uh, like object we created the component or we component created that qml site so we can directly access so let's see how to do this so first we create uh, one uh, project so which is called uh, like a single turn okay so let's uh, we made the changes here so i selected the kit here now next so what we need to do here uh, i'm just doing here like i'm creating one qml file one more qml file so like creating one more file to mail modeling type and selected here so which i am name uh, of that call it the theme okay so just uh, putting the theme so what we need to do here just i am adding here in the top of that pragma singleton okay pragma singleton okay so I used it here the pingma singleton. Here we use the Q object, QT object. Okay. So what we need to do? I'm making uh, one property here, read only, and property. So call it the type is color, uh, color type of this color, which call it the background. Okay. So I am putting here some color here, like F F F and zero. Okay, so let's see which color is this yellow color. Okay, so let's see. Uh, just I'm seeing uh, like um, let's run this and like see how this will work. So there is white color. So what we need to do? I'm resting this QML property uh, like QML file in in here like uh, C++ side. Let's see how to do. Like I'm using the QML register type simple same similar register type singleton uh, QML registers singleton okay so singleton type so what we need to do here we put the uh, uh, the major minor number okay so here we put the major minor number now here I'm using how to access this so let's say theme okay I'm using uh, dot theme dot so here what we need to do here I'm need to uh, we need to provide the uh, Twisting literal okay, so or just uh, the Q, Q URI. So, what we need to do here, like I'm providing this uh, QMA, uh, like Q URI, and in search this, we putting the string literal, the string literal. So, okay, string literal. Now, I'm putting the here so file of that file, okay. So, like I'm putting the path of that file. Let's see. Okay, it will work or not. Let's see. Mm, there may be some different there. It's saying no matching function. Well, maybe not take, but it's still not. Why this is the function URI? It will take and URI again. It will take. Okay, 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 okay. And QML name. So what? Uh, other thing it will take again it will take again one more time so this one one more time now it will work let's see uh, how to use this uh, let's go to the uh, main.qml let's import that file we register that theme dot one point oh okay let's use the background here or uh, not known to the background is color so how to use this theme dot uh, what color the background so let's see and run yeah that will work now so if i made another file like uh, qml file so what if i'm name here like uh, uh, just uh, another another rectangle okay rectangle. so i'm created this uh, now i'm putting the rectangle inside this Import the QT control. Import the uh, control here. 
so now i am import uh, the theme uh, one point two here yeah. so width of that is 100 height of that is 100 and color of that is so just meeting the one more color here yeah. so what uh, like here the rect color okay so rect color rect color what is zero zero so i think it's the red color so what we need to do here so just i'm putting the theme dot rect color and now i'm using that component here okay so another rectangle anchor dot center sorry anchor dot center in parent so let's run if it is bug or not let's see now it will work okay so you can use this header file any of the project directly and you can directly access of this QML uh, property otherwise what we need to what you need to do you you need to include all the directory or this individual file to that uh, that uh, uh, file and after that you can use using the plot operator okay so this is uh, call it the rest of the QML type okay so that's all in this lecture okay thank you guys bye bye